Good morning, St. Pius. Boy, did I miss saying that. Today is Thursday, September 7th, 2023, and welcome to the first day of another great school year. I hope everyone had a great summer and uh, is ready for uh, another awesome year here at St. Pius. I know I'm ready, and your teachers sure are ready too. Hey, we have a bunch of birthdays that we're celebrating from the first couple of days uh, in September. Happy birthday to Derek uh, Gingras, Sloan Rizzuto, LaFranc Balderrama, and Emily Montemuro. Uh, hey, it's going to be a hot one today. Summer is still here, folks. Uh, it's going to be 93 degrees. Um, so, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get outside today, uh, but it's going to be a hot one. Uh, speaking of hot or hot lunch items today uh, is pancake and sausage bites, uh, and we also have hummus box as another option. Uh, middle school, you guys will be staying in homerooms for a little bit this morning. You'll be getting your schedules, uh, your, your, uh, see what electives you're taking, uh, work on your lockers or cubbies. Uh, and then uh, the last period of the day at 210, uh, middle school, we will be meeting in the gym uh, for our, our assembly. Uh, we'll dismiss a little early today, 2.30. We'll start our dismissal process. Uh, and tomorrow, we'll have our opening uh, school liturgy, our eighth graders, our new eighth graders, who I know are going to have a great year leading the school, are going to uh, lead off tomorrow uh, at 10 a.m. Our goal, of course, is to start off the year strong. Let's get off to a good uh, start, get off on a good foot, uh, make some new friends, and uh, let's just have a, a fun time together, all right? Hey, uh, outside my office, you might notice there is a new box that Mrs. Riley made for me. Um, and it says, what did you do over the summer? So I want to know what you guys did over the summer. Uh, so if you want to write me a little note, you can drop it in there. Uh, and I'd love to hear what your favorite thing you did over the summer, maybe the favorite uh, place where, where you went. All right. Um, so uh, I, I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Today we talk about the parable of the Good Samaritan. Usually when we hear this story, we might picture ourselves as one of the passerby, ideally the Samaritan who stops to help. But consider what it would be like to be the wounded traveler. How would you feel if everyone passed by without helping you? Would you be surprised when an enemy helped you? In this parable, we learn how to love like God, the ultimate Good Samaritan to pour out love and care for others without counting the cost. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. But a Samaritan, while traveling, came near him, and when he saw him, he was moved with pity. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, having poured oil and wine on them. Then he put him on his own animal, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day he took out two denarii, gave them to the innkeeper, and said, Take care of him, and when I come back, I will repay you whatever more you spend. Which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of the robbers? He said, The one who showed him mercy. Jesus said to him, Go and do likewise. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Think about this today. How can we be like the Good Samaritan? And I can't think of a better gospel to start our school year off than the parable of the Good Samaritan. How can we be kind to one another? And remember, the key about the Good Samaritan is that uh, the Good Samaritan was kind to his enemy, right? He was kind to um, a person who was different. Uh, than he was. It wasn't just being kind to your friend, right? That can be easy sometimes to be kind to your friend. Uh, it's a little more uh, challenging to be kind to someone who maybe you don't know, or maybe someone who's not kind to you. But we know Jesus wants to treat everyone with kindness and love and respect, just as we hear from the Good Samaritan today. And let us stand in prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not 
into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have a great first day, everyone.